she in love with that sativa When she blow that dope is that a Hey guys, Colleen here Welcome back If you're new, make sure to subscribe on your way out And if you're a returning subscriber Thank you so much for coming back And checking in on your girl As you could see here Your girl Go on clear at Bath and Body Works Now, mind you, this is not My sass haul If this was my sass haul I would say Bath and Body Works Kudos, y'all need A medal of honor for delivering on such quick notice but no oh yeah this is my fine fragrance miss haul from the fine fine fragrance miss sale that he had right after black friday so clearly this video is for participation points because if this was me in a race your girl was dead last like dead dead last like yeah so clearly i'm doing this video for participation points but more so, I think this video will be helpful for those who are currently shopping the sale and you want to have, you know, an idea of what to get, what not to get, or, you know, just different thoughts and views on, you know, fragrance mist you've seen everybody else and the mother talk about. So yes, I am throwing my two cents in on it, you know, because at the end of the day, fragrance is a very, very subjective thing. And you know what? Another opinion may not hurt. Maybe your scent preferences align with mine and you basically like what I like. So yeah, let's dive in to this haul and you will hear my thoughts on all of these fragrances. It's going to be long, so please make sure to get your snack and your drink and tuck yourself in because this is going to be a long one. Gil placed a huge, huge, huge online order here. I started to take a sniff and what I will say is that I have been watching a lot of the reviews on the Christmas collection in particular. What I will say to anybody watching my video, if you have the opportunity to go in and smell the body mist on your own like please do that because I don't want to say that people's perception of what they're smelling is skewed but like scent just like fashion style um, you know what appeals to us is a very subjective thing you know and the thing about perfumes and scents is that a particular scent or fragrance may pop out to you and appeal to you whereas it may not appeal to me and vice versa that being said I listen to a lot of people say bash some of these fragrances and I like but these things hitting y'all and I tend to be I don't know like I like to give things a chance you know of course my opinions could change later on especially with prolonged use but highly recommend you go in and smell it for the folks in Trinidad there are places where you could probably go and get these to smell before you buy but if your scent preferences align with mine and you kind of trust what I say we're going to dive into this review. So the first one which I was very excited for is Jolly Gingerbread Village because everybody and their mother was saying, oh my god, this is a gourmet. You could put it with what Jo, jo Malone gingerbread cookies or whatever is that perfume with the gingerbread note in it. Yo. This threw me for a loop and in a good way so let me just say that the notes for gingerbread jolly gingerbread village are golden gingerbread vanilla icicles and yuletide timber this what listen when i ripped open this box this is the first one i wanted to smell oh my gosh this giving me more of a colony vibe now that I've like had this sprayed in the cap and it dried down 
I do get a little bit of the ginger, not necessarily gingerbread, because I've had candles from Bath and Body Boots with a gingerbread note, and it is definitely more gourmand. This is not gourmand. This is more on the Colony side. To me, this is quite unisex and I'm kind of happy I got the matching cream and body wash to this because I didn't think I would like this as much as I'm liking it. Like, I'm liking this. Like, and I know this is one of those scents they're not gonna bring back ever, ever, ever again. Like, we would never, ever see it. We'll be thinking about it for years to come. But I am happy I got this. The next scent is from, I think it's called the Bali Nights Collection. Um, the packaging is really pretty. It's Satin Slippers. Satin Slippers is white rose, dreamy jasmine, and airy musk. And they say that this is um, a dupe of rose. I wouldn't necessarily say that. I would say it is in the family of a rose. To me, what distinguishes it from rose is that I'm getting that jasmine, white jasmine note in it, and that airy musk. So it has a little more depth to it than rose. To me, rose smells like a green, fresh rose. You do get that in um, satin slippers, but to me, you get a little more to it, like the jasmine in it. I think this would pair very nicely with Kiali, um Deja Vu, White Flower. I think that's the name. I like this. I actually like this. This is like one of the more perfumey scents, you know, that you could wear out and about. It smells like an actual perfume. And of course, the next one, Ballet Nights, they say is a dupe for Wicked, Wicked Vanilla Woods, which I love of the vanillas they could create. That is such a sophisticated vanilla, especially coming from Bath and Body Woods. I was thoroughly impressed. Not everybody likes it, but I love it. It. It reminds me of a vanilla perfume that you would get in Sephora. Ballet Nights is Wild Plum, Glowing Amber, and Tonka Cream. Again, this is my opinion. Not saying you have to take my word for it, but to me, I see what they're saying in terms of it being similar. To Wicked Vanilla Woods but I wouldn't say it is the same I would say they are in the same scent family in terms of the depth and the complexity of the vanilla because you do get the creamy tonka in it but there is the sweetness of the amber and the plum that makes this one sweeter than Wicked Vanilla Woods to me Wicked Vanilla Woods I get the vanilla but then I get the pink pepper in it and to me, pink pepper is such a unique smell. It's such a standout scent that, I mean, I got it from the jump. You know? Kind of unisex, but I still feel it's a little more on the feminine side, in my opinion. But this is definitely like an evening scent. This is a date night scent. The next one is Chasing Fireflies. I believe this was a signature scent. They released for fall. We don't have fall in Trinidad. I've seen people even compare this to bug spray. I have yet to come across a bug spray that smells this pleasant. But to me, I am not that... I'm not impressed with this one. This has notes of golden pear, jasmine blooms, and illuminated woods. And I'm a bit disappointed with this one because I personally like one of my favorite notes in a perfume is pear so you know perfumes like blueberry her EDT um, by Rosie Jean Leila Lou 
even Victoria's Secret Mellow Pay. Those pay notes I love. This unfortunately is a pay note that I can live without. There is something about it that I find it like almost like a car freshener and not even like a a nice one like one of those cheap ones moving along quickly because I've been yapping for so long so the next set I think is the comfort vanillas I'm not too sure what's the name of this collection but they only brought out two which to me I find they could have brought out a couple more vanillas because vanilla is such a is such a forgiving ingredient where it can be mixed with different components and you get different variances of vanilla so you know I mean two is fine and I like where they went with these two because they went in two completely different directions and I think they both are hits so if you can get them in the SAS sale get them especially if you are a vanilla lover so the first one is cozy vanilla bourbon which I think this was supposed to replace bonfire bash because they never brought it back they brought back sweet whiskey I already have that so I didn't need to cut that again but they didn't bring back bonfire bash which I find was strange because to me that is such a cult faith you know so it's kind of like odd they didn't bring that one back so cozy vanilla bourbon notes are warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liquor. This is a sexy, boozy vanilla. This reminds me of a basement jazz club with your little cognac and you're listening to some new jazz or new soul. And it's like over stuffed leather couches and you know it's dimly lit this is the vibe i am getting from cozy vanilla bourbon this is such a cozy sensual scent oh my gosh i'm sorry i did not get the rest of this line hopefully i can find it in trinidad hopefully if not hopefully they bring it out at some point in time the next one is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms, which is completely different. Completely, completely different from Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. But to me, I really like this. This is again another sophisticated vanilla scent, but it's leaning more on the fresh, clean aesthetics. When I smell this, you know, I'm thinking, you know, those... Um, TikToks that you see with the aesthetically pleasing bedrooms with various shades of cream and beige and browns. This is the vibe it's given. Clean, aesthetically pleasing, sophisticated, like the it girl. Like I could see a it girl wearing this. It also reminds me of those really expensive expensive spa candles that you know your rich auntie brings for you for the holidays this is what this smells like this oh my gosh it has a perfumey quality but in a good way it's very sophisticated i'm really impressed with fresh vanilla blossoms the next one i have is forever red and believe it or not this is a scent i have never had in my collection and I've seen Tom, Dick, Harry, and everybody in between say this one is a fragrance to get. And when they discontinued it, a lot of people were upset. I unfortunately did not have the pleasure of smelling it to, you know, feel to feel as upset as everybody else. But I'm happy I was they brought it back so I'm able to, you know, try it out and see. You're gonna laugh with my description of this one. So, the notes on this are fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla, rum, and oak wood. Olive, 
when I initially sprayed this, and this is for my people in Toronto and Tobago, y'all will get this description. This smelled like SM Jaleel Cool Cool Red soft drink. No lie, that is what I got. That was on the initial spray. Now that it has dried down a bit and the middle and base notes are coming out, I am getting the rich vanilla rum in it. So it has a boozy, woody quality to it. So it no longer smells like sweet red soft drink. It smells sexy. It smells um, sensual. It's giving grown folks vibes. Like this could easily be a date night scent. I would say um, don't just judge a spray on its initial, you know, the initial spray out of a scent because what you smell in the beginning may not be what you smell in the end, if you get what I'm saying. But this is one, I could see why this was, you know, a fan fave. So Luminous, talking about dream right? Luminous is Ruby Currant, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. And I like the cup. Not just the design, but how sturdy the cup is compared to the regular cup. So, Bath and Body Works look into probably redesigning your cup so it wouldn't be, you know, as loose because I fed up loose covers and all kind of wellness. The hype is real on this one. This one definitely, 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 definitely definitely and one more for good measure definitely smells like Lancome La Vie Belle. I have that perfume that's a very distinct smell to it this oh my gosh is a beautiful scent and if there is any scent that you have to get have to get moving into 2024 and you want to smell like that girl, get luminous. Now this one retails for $18.95, but Bath and Body Works always having a sale. They like the Indian Expo. They always having a sale. They always having a sale. So just hold up, wait for the sale. Do not pay full price. But earlier, this is the ultimate pretty girl scent. And you know that pretty girl, like, she put together, she's effortless, she is giving chic without doing the most a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And I am sorry, this is not part of the SAS sale, oh yeah, but on Body Works, give us a blinder and let us... Let us get the goodness for some 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 money off. But this, oh my gosh. I didn't think the hype was real, but the hype is definitely real. Now the next one here is Together Weather. This was part of the fall line for traditionals. I'm not too sure what's the name of it. I love the design of this bottle as opposed to the faceted, which I find is a bit boring. The only downside is you, pay, you end up paying more money because of the design. So because of that, I always say hold out on that sale because it can get for the cheap cheap. So the notes for Together Weather are Blushing Breeze, Sugared Cardamom and Soft Cedar. Mm. Whoever. Wait. Okay, I'm getting a slight resemblance to Sol de Janeiro Churrosa Forte, but it's not quite there for me. To me, mm -mm. it's missing the distinct plum note that is known in the Churrosa Forte. That is a woody plum note that is very prominent. This has a very soft wood. It's not prominent 
to me if anything probably the cardamom is more sticking out jumping out at me in this one but I could tell you this is one that does not appeal to me I out of all that I got from this collection no I no I am not impressed with her the next one from the fall line is sunrise words um this one has notes of creamy sandalwood sweet berries and cozy cashmere if there's one thing but everybody who works will beat us to death with is a berry scent like berries 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 and more berries and then in second place coconut but then we'll have more berries 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 so this one it is a typical berry scent. It's okay, but to me, it's nothing to shout home about. You know, it's not like, oh my God. It's nice, but I'd have been salty if I paid good money for this, and this is how it smells like. You have to forgive me here. I live in Trinidad. I, am, I have blind bought all of these. There's probably two fragrances that I'm familiar with. Everything else was a blind buy. So this was a serious gamble for me. Pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's alright, but she a little too generic. It is not a memorable scent. And we on to our next berry scent here. This is Bright Christmas Morning. Now I did not pick this one up last year. To me, I didn't hear anybody say this, but I was not impressed with the Christmas packaging last year. I find it to be a little bit on the cheapy side. I was like, it didn't inviggle me to part with my money. This one is a little cuter. This one is more on theme of the storybook collection and I actually like the design. It's very nice. Now this one, Bright Christmas Morning, it's notes of ripe red berries, blood orange, crisp apples. So you're getting berries and fruits. So you get a fruit cocktail. Okay, so this one reminds me, hands down, this is champagne toast without the bubbly. Without the bubbly note, without that bubbly um, alcoholy note, the champagne part of it. This is champagne toast. Now this one, I was happy they brought this back because everybody and their mother cried when Bath and Body Works discontinued Dahlia. The notes for Dahlia are velvet Dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, and whipped tonka bean. Well, yeah, this is the pear notes. This is the pear scent I love. Oh my gosh. This, you see that chasing fire, Ch chasing fire farts or whatever, a waste of time. This one, <laughs> please do not discontinue this part on Buddy Looks. Please, por favor. No, there were two scents that I repurchased. Why? Well, for one of them, I love it. Like, I love it hands down. I love it and i was so happy they brought it back because last year i was only able to get one mist and cream before it disappeared off the internet it is uh, strawberry snowflakes all year i mean i love stro strawberry pound cake yeah but all year i find they could make this permanent alongside strawberry pound cake like you know, I like the cake note, but I have to be in a mood for it. This one is just whipped cream and strawberries blended up with, 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 and, and it, and it chilled. It smells so good. Or they like, mm. now the notes for this are juicy strawberry, whipped cream and iced bergamot. Or they strawberries and cream, strawberries and cream. There's nothing sweeter, nothing sexier than this. Now, a lot of people say you can pair this with um, Valentino, Donna, Born in Roma, which is a nice one to pair it with, or even Burberry Hill. 
the original in the pink bottle. But the one that I really, really like when I mix it with this is Armani C. Fiori. If you're familiar with the Armani scent C. Fiori, it has a berry note in it. But to me, I get like a creamy strawberry milkshake. And to me, this strawberry snowflakes enhances that creamy strawberry um, milkshake smell. And hmm. Mmm, like all you, I am so happy they brought this back because I have one from last year on its last legs and I was holding on to that for their life all you, like that, oh my gosh, so when I saw they brought this back out, I had to get it and this is the only one from that collection I caught. So the last set of fragrance mists I got were from the Christmas Traditions line. I got all of them except Twisted Peppermint which I already own so I as much as I love the packaging and I would probably wanted to get it because it's pretty pink I was like no 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 Kali your collection getting out of hand relax yourself. The only one from that collection that's new is golden berry mistletoe and I love the brown packaging here it's very nice mmm now this is another berry note but this is a berry note that I like it has something different about it so the notes are sparkling berries sugared spruce and frosted air I'm not getting the air notes to me like Bath and Body Works air note has a distinct smell to it I'm not getting it but the sugared spruce is like sweet sugared sap tree sap if you've ever smelt tree sap and berries like I am mad at this one you know like I seriously not mad at this. I kind of mad at not getting the cream and the body wash. I think I may have to dip on the site and get that. But yo. So the last two are core scents. Core holiday scents. Winter candy apple that they have been bringing every year for probably, probably like a decade now. This one is the closest apple scent to I don't know if you remember this you know Victoria's Secret's Endless Love this is the closest I've ever gotten to that scent they've discontinued it you know they no longer make that one and you know that used to be one of Victoria's Secret's like best sellers so the notes for this are red apples winter rose petals candied oranges maple leaf and fresh cinnamon the cinnamon is not too heavy in it because it definitely would have railed up my allergies i used to have a back in the day and then i kind of stopped and i fell off a bat on body works and now i'm back on the train yeah and last but not least vanilla bean noel which has made a very good comeback after being called vanilla bean no smell for a couple of years running. Now I do have last year's um, version which is very stinky like I picked it up in a sauce and I smelled it and I was like no something wrong with you. So at first I wasn't going to get it, but then I saw a lot of people saying, no, 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 guys, get Vanilla Bean Noel. So I'm like, alright, let's see if she lives up to the hype. I'm going to just take out that alcohol smell. Mmm, yeah. Yeah. She is much better. She is definitely much better than last year. Oh my god, last year was a crime. So the notes for vanilla bean, Noel, if you don't know, is fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed 
must. Yes, it is that good. And I was told the body wash is even sweeter. So, of course, you know, you girl had to get that in the sus. So, I'm waiting for that to try it out because I want to smell like a whole vanilla snack here. Mmm. Yeah, boy, it's intoxicated. I tell you, vanilla, vanilla is such a versatile fragrance. That is my haul. I think I bought, I think it was 16 fine fragrance miss. So your girl, yeah, your girl went in on that sale. If you have made it to the end, thank you so very much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in another one. Bye, guys. I just sit back, watch her pose like Mona Lisa. She switch it up on me, I cannot keep her.